President Edgar Lungu says his government is keen on seeing a free, fair and credible general election. President Lungu made the remarks when he met United Kingdom's Minister for Africa, James Dudridge, who is on a two-day state visit. The head of state says 2021 is an important election for the country and his government is keen to make it a credible one. Details are in the following report by Sharon Kunda. President Lungu hosted United Kingdom's Minister for Africa, James Dadridge, who is on a two-day state visit. The president and the visiting minister met at State House to engage on matters of mutual interest ranging from trade to governance. President Lungu assured the minister that government is organizing a credible 2021 general election. So we appreciate your visit because it's coming at a time when we are just getting ready for elections in 2021, in August on the 12th, and I think it's a talking point. Issues of governance are of interest to you. I think we will discuss more of those probably in the quiet moment behind camera. And, and, and uh, we are preparing for an election, and this election is uh, very important for us because we want it to be free, fair, and credible. And then uh, we are just coming from a meeting this morning where we met stakeholders and uh, dialogued about what should be done and what can be done within the means that are available. So, uh, one of the interesting things, of course, which was raised was the Public Order Act. And I said we are embarking on law reform. Law reforms are ongoing in this country. And right now, in Parliament, they're trying to process the law. But it means the expectations of the people in terms of liberties to assemble and to speak. And I, and I think that's the way it should be. President Lungu also discussed the state of the economy in the face of COVID-19. of COVID-19, something I referred to in my opening remarks is real. The impact it has had on our economy cannot be underestimated. Uh, it has had a far-reaching effect on our economic sectors throughout, including changing our way of life. But uh, I think we have to continue living, living in the new normal. And that's what we're doing, and that's why we're here, and that's why we're glad that you made it all the way. Otherwise, you'd have said, why don't we talk on the phone? <laughs> and this is the new way of doing things. So, and Mr. Dadridge says the UK government stands ready to work with Zambia in dealing with common challenges such as climate change. More widely in discussing uh, the challenges uh, specifically you, you face here, both on the, the development side, the opportunities uh, of more trade, the Africa uh, continental free trade uh, area, the opportunities of doing more business um, with the UK more directly and the opportunities for that, that provides for increasing uh, revenues um, that can be spent in a normal way via, via governments. That seems to be the, the sensible way to progress in our relationship with uh, Zambia. This is one of the high profile visits from the UK government in recent times. Sharon Kunda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Remember to hit the like button. Plus a comment and subscribe. Thank you.